Hello. In this video, we show how we can use cards in Microsoft Teams to collect data for a business process. We decided to show a survey for the collection of information, which can then be saved in SAP or on a cloud system like Google Sheets. We thought it would be more fun to build a survey generator in Teams, which can be used to create the survey. We see the survey generator card being used for a simple survey to collect meal choices. The user is adding questions and options. Some questions can be set as mandatory. There are different question types available to us, such as text and drop-down lists. This example allows up to five questions, each with up to five options. For some questions, multiple answers are permitted. Each question can be minimised or reopened to make changes. Once we've added the fifth question, the user selects which team members to send the survey to and then submits the form. A survey card is then sent to each team member. Now we see the survey card with the five configured questions. The first three questions are drop-down lists, the fourth is made from checkboxes, and the fifth, a simple text field. We make our choices and then submit. At this stage, the data is captured and can be sent to any third-party system. All this is made possible by Looply, which manages the workflow and integration behind each Teams card used in this process. Looply, everything you need, all in one place. 